So first, our first guest is Vanessa. She's coming all the way from uh, from Disneyland. Let's hear it for, for Vanessa. Okay, Vanessa. Now, all of you, we, we do have to go pretty quickly. I don't have much time. But we can do it. What color do you want, Vanessa? Purple. Purple. Okay. How do we do number one? Uh, so do a Dorito Man to find out what the sign is going to be for the one in the middle with the positive and the negative. Right, so we've got a positive and negative. That's a double sign. You know what? I better highlight that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I pushed a button. Okay. I'm okay. Okay. There we go. So we, we want to take that and turn it into a single sign with the read mask. So what happens? So since there's a positive and a negative, you have to cross out one negative and one positive, and that gives you a negative. Exactly. So, we will rewrite it with single signs, negative 5, negative 4. Now what? Now, uh, do the good guys and bad guys. Yeah. And the bad guys scored 5 and 4. Yeah, 5 and 4. And so, final answer? Negative 9. Negative 9, because bad guys went by 9, right? How many people got that right? <gasps> Woo! All right, we're doing good. All right, number 2. Uh... Find a single sign for the positive and the negative. Right, so this is almost the same, huh? It doesn't have a double negative. Oh, well. All right, okay, so it becomes, again, a negative, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so 13 and negative 9, what happens? Uh, the good guy scored 13 and mm -hmm. the bad guy scored 9. Mm -hmm. So good guys win. Good guys win by how much? By 4. Exactly. Hey, she did a really good job. Let's hear it for Vanessa. Okay, now we got Noah coming all the way from Oklahoma. Oklahoma. <laughs> all right, now how do we do number three, please? Uh, for number three, mm -hmm. uh, I put it on like a I put it on a scoreboard. Scoreboard, very good. I'm gonna I... use blue. How's that? Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. And then I put negative 8 on the negative side, and yes. then I put positive 5 on the positive side. Yeah, so bad guy score 8, good guy score 5. And then uh, I subtracted 5 by negative 8, getting me a uh, negative 3. Good. Bad guys win, so the answer is negative 3. All right. Okay, number 4. And then I put... And then I did another scoreboard on the other yes, side. Yes, you did. And I put a uh, negative eight. Oh. Eight oh goes, no, positive. Eight goes positive. Nine goes negative. Okay, who wins? Uh, negative. Negative. So bad guys win. By how many points? By one point. By one. So negative one. All right. How many people got all four right so far? Oh, how many of you got all four right so far? So many of you. Okay, great. Thank you, Noah. Okay, let's hear for pasta coming from the spaghetti factory. All right, pasta, how do we do number five? Um, so you take out your scoreboard. And yeah, so we got to do the scoreboard. Okay, what else? And then you put negative four and negative two under the bad guys. Okay, bad guys score four and two. And then you add those together, which is negative six. Yeah, so bad guys win by six. Cool, all right, number six. Um. Oh no, three numbers. Ah. Okay, so there's the, the plus and then the negative, which you circle those because they're next to each other. Oh. oh, there's a double sign, yes. Yes, there's a double so sign. So 10, negative 5, and then? Negative. Negative 3. Okay. We're going a little fast, but that's okay. Um, okay. Um, what did I do next? So then I take out the scoreboard. Uh-huh. And then I put 10 under the good guys, mm -hmm. and then 5 and 3 go under the bad guys. Mm -hmm. Then you add the 5 and the 3, which is the 8, uh -huh. and then 10 minus 8 is positive 2. Positive two. Good guys win by two. Let's hear it for pasta. All right, now we got the Zynga for seven and eight. Go ahead, the Zynga. What represents a loss? Is a loss going to be positive or negative, do you think? A loss is going to be negative. 
Definitely, I totally agree. So first, so, uh, first... the answer is just negative 15. That's all it it means you just have to write it in your turn. All right. Uh, when Superman woke up, his layer was negative nine, and then yeah, then uh, it um uh, the temperature rose by ten degrees. So that means so we we can show that by adding ten yeah. to negative nine, mm -hmm. and on the good guys bad guys scoreboard we put ten on the good guys. I did it wrong. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. ten on the good guys and. Uh, negative nine on the bad guys. Mm -hmm. well, so we the good guys win by one again. Yep. Wasn't there a positive one before? Negative one before. All right. Now we got some answers. So where did you drive here from? Um, Long Beach. Long Beach. Woo! All right. Now how do we do number nine? So you want to draw Dorito Man first? Thank you. Yes. And then you. There's two negatives, so you want to cross out two negatives, and that leaves you with a positive. Yeah. And then you want to multiply 8 <coughs> times 2, and then that equals positive 16. Good. Next one. And Next then one. Um, you want to draw another, um, what's it called, Dorito Man, mm -hmm. and then cross out a negative and a positive, and then multiply, and that equals ne negative 15. Excellent. All right. Okay. Now we got Savannah. Savannah, we got a little bit of a tricky one. We've got one. Hello. We got one that um, has three numbers. So what do we do? Since you, since there's parentheses, you times the negative ten times negative three. Yeah. So we do two at a time. First two is negative times so, negative, which makes a positive, positive thirty. And now we bring the negative one down, and we do another Dorito Man, and we get what? Negative 30. Negative. Negative. That's a terrible negative. Negative 30. Cool. All right. Number 12. You use Dorito Man. Uh-huh. Since they're both negatives, which equals a positive. Yep. And then positive since 16. Excellent. All right. How about breadsticks? Where are you coming from? I thought I was supposed to do um, 11 and 12. Oh, no, I said 13 and 14. That's okay. We'll do it here. I'll do it. Okay, so division is what? Also Dorito Man, right, everybody? Yeah. D and M stands for division multiplication. All right, negative 5. Easy cheesy because 15 divided by 3 is 5. Okay, how about this one? Two negatives with multiplying or dividing makes positive, positive five. Okay. Uh, all right. Now we got Apple. All right, Apple. How fast can you go here? Um, <laughs> go ahead. Um. So first, you you draw the scoreboard. Or wait, you rewrite the problem. Yeah, we rewrite the problem. So it's negative six times. Times negative one. Times negative one. All right, and you're not doing scoreboard. This is multiplication. All right, so we end up with positive six. All right, number sixteen. You rewrite the problem. Uh huh. Twenty-five. Um. Negative. Oh. Stop glitching. It's glitching. Oh, there we go. Okay, twenty-five. Negative. Minus. Wait, minus. Parentheses ten. Negative ten. Is that what you said? You're talking kind of quietly. Okay. All right, 25 minus negative 10. Now what? Um, you do the read man for the double signs. Yeah, we got to get rid of the double sign. Excellent. Okay. And then we get... 35. Plus, right? This becomes positive. positive. So 25 plus 10. Yes, is 35. All right. 17 and 18. Alexa. Woo! All right, Alexa, what you got? So you draw your scoreboard for the first one. It's fourteen uh, plus. What? Fourteen plus what? Mm, twenty-five. Plus negative. Twenty-five. Negative twenty-five. Don't forget the negative. Okay, this double sign turns negative, right? So we got negative. What you get? Negative eleven. Negative eleven. Good. Cool. All right. Next one. 25 
divided by negative well, five. Good, negative five. Now we want to use parentheses because that's what math always wants us to do. All right, and that's a Dorito man, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dorito man. Okay, so positive and negative makes negative, negative five. Yeah. Woo, we're almost done. Okay. Absolute value means whatever number it is ends up being net positive. So if this was a positive, the answer would be positive. And if it's negative, the answer is still positive. So the answer is positive seven. All right, select all of these that have a value of zero. Hmm. It was negative eight and it increased eight. Is that zero? Yes. Yeah. Negative eight minus eight. No, that is not. That would be negative 16. The driver would send me swimming at negative, he came up 100. Is that zero? Yes. Yeah. yeah. You have 20, 50, 20. No, deposit, then you'd have 500. That's not zero. Okay? Hey, we're done. Bye, YouTube.